If you have an achy back, you have got company. As many as 80% of adults will have back pain. And tonight, our Dr. John LaPook runs us through new guidelines from the American College of Physicians. 76-year-old Berta Axelrad has lived with chronic low back pain for most of her life. The pain is just so, um, well, it's terrible. She swears by exercise, yoga, and walking. It minimizes the pain. It's not always easy, but it's much better than doing nothing. Today's guidelines say the first line of therapy should be non-drug treatments. For pain lasting less than three months, those include heat wraps, massage, acupuncture, and spinal manipulation. The authors stress that clinicians should avoid costly and potentially harmful treatments like narcotics. For pain lasting more than three months, treatments include stretching and strengthening exercises, Tai Chi, yoga, acupuncture, and mindfulness techniques like meditation to relieve stress. If those fail, anti-inflammatories such as ibuprofen should be considered first, then medications that can dull nerve pain, like tramadol or duloxetine. Some of these treatments, such as yoga or massage, are often offered outside of the traditional health care system. Dr. Stephen Atlas of Massachusetts General Hospital wrote an editorial about the guidelines. Some of these guidelines may be uh, a shot across the bow to uh, insurers to say that uh, maybe these sh we should be covering them better. And then rotate once to your left. Hospital for Special Surgery physical therapist Dana Rose demonstrated some moves designed to bring relief. By activating and using your core muscles, that should lessen the load through our joints to help minimize back pain. The recommendation to use non-drug therapies first is especially relevant right now, Scott, when the country is facing an epidemic of opioid abuse. John LaPook, thanks, Doc.